There it is. Okay. We're back. We're here. You feel the vibes. Here we go. How we doing? Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's see. Making sure we are connected. I think we are all good to go. I had a little less time to set up today. Today was a little spur of the moment, but it looks like you can... Uh, wait. Do we have no audio? Do we have audio? We have audio. Let's see. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're back. Yes. Yeah, so, how are we doing, guys? Uh, we didn't have as much time to, uh, you know, promote today's episode of DCF Live. I really wasn't sure if we were going to be able to uh, get around to it. Uh, super hectic week. Um, I've been without Jason for almost two weeks now. So, it's just been insanely busy. Funny enough, actually did the, uh, the video this week uh, on the airbrush booth. The entire thing... Uh, I edited and pieced together and I haven't done like an entire video production by myself without Jason in a really long time. So, uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching that. Uh, hopefully I didn't make uh, too many mistakes. Nobody pointed out anything crazy or anything like that. I'm going to bring my mic a little closer to me, uh, and just keep it out of frame. But yeah, so hopefully, uh, that went, uh, hopefully that was good. Um, let's see. Uh, CW Custom says, thank you so much for the stencil, Dylan, appreciate it. Good, buddy, I'm glad that, uh, that made its way to you. I had, uh, posted, if anybody was willing to go back and give me timestamps for the entire 10-hour live stream, I would hook them up with something, and, uh, CW, within, uh, <laughs> within probably an hour or so, hooked us up with, uh, with, uh, timestamps from the entire video. So thank you for that, buddy. Um, that was awesome, and now those are in that video, finally. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brotistic Custom says, when are we going to get a studio tour? Yeah, that is a video that we've wanted to do for a while. Just trying to figure out, um, I just, I, I, I want to, I want to make sure that that video is fun and exciting rather than just showing a, a, a 360 view. Like I want to, I need to make sure to, uh, find a way to, you know, keep the video engaging and whatnot. So that's the only part that I've been, uh, trying to figure out. So. Uh, what's up, Repsy? Looking healthy, brother? Yeah, man, I almost had to give my barber a big kiss yesterday. Uh, first time I was able to see him in, uh, many, many months, so that, that felt good. That felt good. Uh, a lot of people asking about that first-timers video. Guys, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I have been so swamped, I haven't even been able to, uh, pick out the four to be sent in. Um, I really do plan on doing that soon, uh, picking those out. But it's just been so hectic. I also might have, there's like an 80% chance, um, there's like an 80% chance we have an emergency, like, uh, stop everything type video coming out next week. Uh, I'm having some talks with somebody about something. We'll see, but there's a good chance of it. And if, if that does happen, next week's video will be uh, something way outside of the norm. Uh, I'll say that it's a collab. I'll leave it at that. We'll see if we're able to make it happen, but the timing of everything, it really works best if we do make it happen as soon as possible. So we'll see. That'll be really exciting. Um, some of you guys might have, uh, might have seen some of it, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I don't want to say too much because that, that will be, uh, an exciting one. Uh, let's see what else is on the, uh, uh, plate. Um, Last week I was asked, um, last week I was asked, what is the best piece of advice I had ever been given by Marl Dane? If you're in here, Marl Dane, what's up, buddy? Um, and I don't have, and I thought about it, and I, d I still don't have the best piece of advice I've ever been given, but I do have some really strong advice that has resonated with me, and it very much applies to um, YouTube and, and growing a following and, and things like that, and... Uh, what somebody said, I can't even remember where I heard it, but it was when we were starting out on YouTube and I had heard this piece of advice that um, most likely you've probably taken a speech class at uh, some point in your lifetime. When I took it, I was a sophomore in high school, uh, so 10th grade. And, uh, you know, you have to give a few speeches in front of a classroom and the classroom is, you know, anywhere from 20 to 30 people or whatever. And it's a very hard thing to do because public speaking and speaking in front of people is very hard. And the way that somebody framed it is, um, you know, 
Think of how nervous, think of how nerve wracking that can be to give a speech in front of 20 people in front of a, in a, in a classroom. And it's, it's nerve wracking for anybody, you know, uh, doing that. And, you know, so that's only 20, 30 to people. Now picture you have an audience on YouTube of a thousand people or something like that, or, or 10,000 people. And don't take it for granted. You know what I mean? So many people want to say, oh, my, my audience isn't big enough. My audience won't be listening. My, my following is not big enough or anything like that. And just another thing that, that goes along with this topic is it's okay to celebrate every small win along the way. When, uh, when Jason and I were starting on YouTube in about March of 2018, it took us about six months to get monetized. And uh, so to get monetized, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And we would have charts in the studio and just cross off every milestone, every hundred followers that we got, every uh, maybe hundred hours that we got closer to that 4,000 watch hours. And it's okay to celebrate those milestones along the way. It doesn't just have to be huge, ginormous milestones of I hit 100,000 followers to where YouTube gives me a plaque. It's okay to celebrate other stuff along the way. So just some great advice is um, that, uh, you know, it's it's to don't take for granted your, um, your the size of your following and whatnot. You know what I mean? It's Think of how scary it is to talk in front of a classroom of 20 people. Now, if you have 200 people on Instagram, that's 10 times that. You know what I mean? Imagine giving that same speech, but now in front of 10 times as many people. So that is... Uh, absolutely crazy to uh, think about. So that is definitely something uh, to consider. You know what I mean? Uh, but let's see here. How are we doing in the chat, guys? Um, yeah, so I, uh, that, that a lot of people still asking about the uh, that first-timers video. I, I think that video, hopefully if I'm able to pick the shoes in the next week or so, that video would be out within the next month or so. Would be, would be uh, pretty ideal. Also, uh, today is four weeks away from all entries being due for the DCF floral contest. So let's go ahead and pull up that flyer here. Um, where's that? Here we go. Switch over. Can you still, yep, audio still good. Okay, so the DCF floral theme contest open to all. All you have to do to enter is post your entry onto Instagram and use the hashtag DCF floral contest. All entries are going to be due Friday, July 31st, so that is four weeks from today. Uh, so yeah, guys, I'm, I'm super excited. There's already a bunch of entries, and uh, I'm just really excited to see what is uh, going to come about from uh, the floral theme and our third contest. Really excited about that. Really excited about that one. Uh, let's hear here. Uh, Kobe Yuyi says, how did you get the colors that vibrant on those black Yeezys? Because whenever I try to paint on black fabric, even with a base coat, I can never get the colors right. So we actually have a video when we painted these. It's one of our first through third videos right now. Um, um, yeah, maybe, probably one of our first five videos on YouTube or something like that. And to get the colors to really pop on here, it is just about doing uh, base coats, you know, moving into light gray and then moving into light and uh, things like that. So... Uh, Kobe says, is it okay if I submit multiple shoes? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, ba, ba, ba. So yeah, the, the next two episodes of Reviewing Your Customs will be the first timers episode and then the uh, final four of the floral contest. So I am uh, excited about that one. Uh, Central Blue Diamond says, hey, Dylan, I've got a question. I, can I customize my shoes with using Posca markers? How does it hold up? I do not recommend that. I recommend using uh, paint. Whether you use Angelus, Jacquard, something like that, uh, the Posca markers are going to wear off pretty quickly. But another thing that I wanted to mention, because last week uh, we had planned to do uh, a few more um, reviewing your Instagrams, and uh, we got cut a little short. Today we're a little short on time, too. We can only go for about another 45 minutes or so uh, till just under 5.30 Central Time. And uh, I want to show you guys somebody who I think is just absolutely killing it with uh, custom sneaker photography. So let's see here. Somebody that you guys can just uh, take a look at his page and, and draw some inspiration from it. And uh, this is interesting. We usually get one of these questions uh, about every week or so. And um, 
you know, can I, can I be a customizer and only do simple colorways? Absolutely. And I'm going to show you somebody who is killing it at that. So on Instagram, his name is Malcolm Garrett, and he does just a lot of clean, simple, almost player edition looking colorways. Uh, he does a lot of Jordan one stuff and what I really want you guys to take note of is how damn good the photography is and yet how simplistic it is. But the best way that I can describe it is he very much takes a um, photographer's approach to custom sneaker photography. Now what I mean by that is this is just a good, this is just flat out a good photo. Not just showing off the artwork, which he's incredibly talented and does clean work. But this is just a great photo, and all of his stuff is. I mean, all of these are just solid photos. You know what I mean? Composition, framing, and of course, the backgrounds. I mean, great stuff here. Great stuff. I mean, look at this. You wouldn't even you wouldn't even necessarily think this. This is a, a front little uh, basket of on a bike. And look at how cool it looks as a as a background. You know what I mean? And then sometimes he does. Uh, uh, this is just like poster board and it works great for when you have uh, designs and color blocking such as this. So I love this stuff. I love it. This is just, uh, you know, sometimes I can't tell specifically where he's shooting them, but this is just, you know, obviously up against some wood. I can't tell if it's necessarily a bench or something like that. But I, I just love the, just go on his page and draw inspiration from his photography because it's just so simplistic. But yet, I mean, look at these. Look at how these Notre Dame Jordan 1 lows, they just pop. They just pop. They look so good, man. Um, I love it. I love it. I love looking at, I love looking at, his, at his stuff. Look at how, I mean, it's just so simple, but it looks so good. You know what I mean? So just when, when you're out shooting your stuff, just head to his page and, and, and take a look at his framing and composition and things like that. So, and then sometimes this is also, you know, picking a specific color. So here he has, I, I believe this is a Florida Gators colorway for a Jordan 1, and he finds, you know, an orange setting to really make that orange uh, in the actual shoe pop. It is uh, great stuff, man. Love his page. Love his page. So uh, we will check out a few others' Instagrams uh, coming up. Uh, John Kelly says, can I still enter the first timers? We have well over 100 entries, so uh, we, we closed those out um, last Friday. Last Friday. Yep. Let's see. Uh, Hood Gaming 727 says, not like he would care. I thought this was a Q&A. Care about what? Let me know. Um... Hood Gaming. Oh, okay. I see your other question. Uh, difference between too thin and too hard. I think I might have those out. Let's see. Um, I do. I do. So, the difference is, is very literal. Too thin is thinner for acrylic paints. This is what you use when you plan on airbrushing your paints. Or if potentially your paints have uh, thickened up a little bit over time. I'm waiting for the YouTube to show me that it is uh, connected. Now it's saying we're connected. I believe we're good. I believe we're good. Okay, let's uh, let's keep it moving. Okay, here. So uh, Avery Taylor says, uh, "Why don't you recommend Posca markers? Marco and ZHC uses them for everything they do, and it looks great. Absolutely, it it can look great." But uh, how it looks on day one is is not what matters to me. Um, all I care about is how it looks uh, years from now. So um, those don't have long-term durability like uh, paint does in, in, in proper uh, prep work. So that's why um, that's why I don't use them. But yeah, um, you know they're they're great for starting out. And uh, first and foremost, the mo the most important thing is that people are finding the the art of painting on sneakers and they're testing it out and and that's a great thing and if you want to start out playing with posca markers more power uh to you more power to you uh let's see Wright's custom shop says to jesus i have a question what airbrush do you recommend this is on amazon because i hand paint i use the badger patriot 105 105 um, do leather paints wash off uh asked by novix not if you uh prep them correctly 
Not as long as you prep correctly. Um, let's see here. Do you use finisher when painting on mesh or canvas? Yeah, I like to use uh, sprays anytime I'm working on mesh or canvas. So um, I use a Krylon matte finish for those. Uh, Sam Bam Custom says, what is a good alternative for Angelus Matte and Gloss Finisher? The Liquid Kicks Matte and Gloss Finisher. Yep, those are good ones. Uh, Bad Beat Nick says, hey Dylan, how's it going and how are your Chunky Dunky Jordans holding up? They are still good. They are still good. Let me grab them. Been getting a... Uh... Been getting a lot of good wear out of these. Uh, I, I want to do a video. I just got to figure out what exactly I'm going to show in the video. Um, but you guys have seen me crease them up a million times. Um, you know, still no, uh, it's always hard to get it to focus and with the light and whatnot, but, but still no paint cracking, which is uh, awesome stuff. And so that right there, that's why you don't use uh, Posca markers, because that is all uh, that matters to me, is that uh, long-term durability. Yep. Uh, let's see. Da da da. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Ba ba ba. Issue. Uh, uh, Jelky Gaelic with a good question. Someone just ordered a custom from me and sent me the money, but I just found out that the base shoe is sold out. What should I do? Uh, let me know what the base shoe is, Jelky. I would love to know, um, you know, because if it's just, uh, you know, an Air Force One or Jordan one, you could probably find them in another shop. You know, I, I don't know where you specifically uh, have tried looking. Maybe you've tried Foot Locker and Nike.com already and they're sold out. Um, but check eBay, check a, uh, a resale site, check StockX, and, um, you know, what, what could then really impact you is the cost might be a lot higher on the secondhand market. So, you know, you can either sort of eat that cost into your profits to where, you know, maybe you were going to make $100 a profit off the customer. Now the base shoe costs you an extra $30. You could just sort of eat that, or you could go back to your customer and say, hey, uh, truth be told... The shoe's a little harder to get nowadays, so it's going to cost another 30 I, I don't want to have that conversation with the customer, but it is uh, something that you could absolutely do. Yep. Uh, Azar Lodge says, can Angelus additives work with normal paints? Uh, no, they are made specifically to work with uh, Angelus. So regular acrylic paints are just so much thicker that it would uh, it would not work the same. I use the uh, same airbrush for everything, for uh, anybody asking about that. So Badger Patriot 105. Um, Lisban says, how do you handle small dust looking color balls? It seems like they appear from the color as it dries mine while I paint. It's 3D like brush strokes, but they are like little balls. I cannot say that I am familiar with that. All I can say is that maybe the paint needs to be spread a little bit more or potentially there might have been some dust particles that, you know, have, have gotten into your paint. Maybe you've left it open a little too long. That's definitely uh, potentially something that could have happened also, but I can't say I am uh, too familiar with that. Uh, let's see. Undisclosed and Co. on your toes says... Uh, that's a long name. Uh, do you get people asking you to sponsor them? I had some message from... America asking and they're doing well in sports and travel around a lot. Is it worth doing in your experience? Um, so I've never sponsored anybody, but, uh, you know, I think that the hope would be, um, you know, what are you going to get out? Cause if you're sponsoring them, you're doing the work for free. So what are you going to get out of it? You know what I mean? Are they going to refer you to a bunch of teammates who would then be willing to pay full price or do they have a following on social media and they're going to shout you out and, and help you out that way? What, you know, it, it, a sponsorship, it's got to be a two-way street. So what are you getting in return other than them just saying, hey, I'm going to be uh, wearing your shoes during sports? You know what I mean? Because, you know, 
uh, one thing that you'll sort of learn as, as you do this stuff, although I do recommend people do it. I, I do recommend you, you dip your feet in, in playing with uh, doing free work for, for people who might be able to give you something in return. Um, but talk is cheap. Don't, don't forget that. You, you learn that pretty quickly that somebody's saying, hey, uh, um, I'll be able to spread the word about you. Talk is cheap. You know what I mean? Unless they're actually uh, able to prove it and, and, you know, say, hey, you know, I have a bunch of teammates who I know will love this and, you know, they'll be paying full price. Then that could turn into something. But otherwise, talk is cheap. Talk is cheap. Um, let's see. Uh, KJ Custom says, hey, Dylan, thanks for the uh, always inspiring us. You're welcome. When would you use spray finisher as opposed to liquid finisher? Anytime I'm working on mesh or canvas, I I uh, prefer applying a Krylon matte spray rather than just rather than doing a liquid. I actually, up until maybe a year or two ago, always applied um, uh, liquid finishers by hand, and I never liked applying a liquid finisher by hand on top of mesh or canvas because it seemed a little bit harder to spread the finisher and get it nice and even. So that's why I liked uh, the spray on those. But you could do the sprays through an air the, excuse me you could do the liquids through an airbrush because then it's essentially like spraying but just out of habit and and it leaves a nice finish i like the uh, krylon matte finish for stuff like that uh rico blanco customs with the super chat thank you so much buddy truly uh truly appreciate that follow trends or um make your own design get or oh follow trends or hope your own design gets noticed that's a great question, and uh, the way that I would answer that is um, do do a little bit of both. So they've never been my favorite, and I, I put them off for a long time. Um, but doing uh, you know the trends of like they're it's hard to say they're a little less popular now, but I think they are in my opinion. Like doing Gucci and LV Air Forces and all that type of stuff, or Vans, whatever. Those are things that can help grow your following because it's things that you know a wide range of audience really likes but the way that you can truly like gain a real following of people who truly love your artwork is by having your own original designs of course but mixing in sometimes some of the hype stuff can be a good idea and you know when we were growing on youtube we would know like hey if we ever include you know a gucci cleat in the thumbnail or if we do an lv pair like there's a good chance that type of stuff is pretty likely to get noticed and the videos are going to do pretty well. So I think it's okay to do uh, a combination of both for sure. Yep. So I would say uh, do a little bit of both, but, but in, 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 in stick true to stick true to doing both. Don't give up on trying to create your own original designs to pop off. So, yeah. Uh, Nick Kessler says, have you ever had issues with Krylon Matte Finish Spray giving off a chalky appearance and feel? I think I'm using it wrong. So when you're using the Krylon Matte Spray, you need to shake it really well before you use it. And then you also want to clean the nozzle head before you spray it on the shoes. And how you do that is pretend this is the top of the can and I would be spraying like this. Hold it upside down and spray it up against the wall. And with the can sprayed upside down, that's how you clean out the uh, nozzle of a spray can. So always do that before you apply it on the shoes. And you don't need a lot. Super light coats of that. Super light coats of that. Uh, Beckham Custom says, did you receive my email for reviewing your customs? They were the Joker theme. I did. I did get those, buddy. I did get those. Uh, B. Jarkin. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, buddy. Nodder. Uh, sorry. Uh, probably butchered that one, but would the regular acrylic paints be okay for, let's say, Air Force One Customs for the start, in case I just want to try it without investing in Angelus? It's okay for just painting. They're not going to have durability. You're not going to be able to wear them and, and crease them. You know what I mean? The paint is going to crack if you just use regular acrylic paints. So... Uh, Super Chat from CW Customs. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. Uh, let's see here. Da, da, da. Uh, what material? Uh, Sam Bessler, Basler says, uh, what material do you recommend for reusable airbrush stencils? Mylar. Mylar, for sure. 
Make uh, UV says make a video on improving photography skills. Badly need help in that aspect. Keep it simple and normal, like clicking with the phone and using normal tools to enhance the quality of the photograph clicked. Absolutely, absolutely, definitely something we want to uh, expand on more soon. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Tons of uh, great questions. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, unfortunately, like I said, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's check out some Instagrams. Uh, if any of my mods are here, let me know as uh, the names start flowing in for some Instagrams. Uh, if there is some good ones that we should check out. Let's see. Uh, Customs by Carl says, I got copyrighted because of using LV print. How do you avoid that if there is a way? Uh, so you're using a, 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 a trademarked uh, brand name. So they, um, I don't know if you're saying this happened on Etsy or things like that, but on Etsy, they really cracked down over the last year on, you really, um, we even had LV and Gucci stencils on Etsy that were uh, taken down. And I know that they've cracked down on a lot of people having the stencils and the shoes and things like that. So uh, the way around it is creating original pieces. That is uh, the way to go. Uh, Dwayne Lee says, can we clean the reusable stencils and what's the best way? The best way to do that is right after you spray on it, kind of almost immediately after is to pat it down with a shop towel or, or whatever you use, you know what I mean, a rag or something like that. And then if you really need to, you can place it over a flat surface, a table, that you don't care about because this makes it messy and then take uh, acetone and a rag or something like that and remove paint right off the top. That is a uh, another thing that you could do for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, Sam Bam Custom says, has anyone painted with Angela's neon paint? And if so, do the matte finisher take away its neon effect? Uh, no, so a, a matte finisher will not take away a neon effect. You could say that the matte finisher would somewhat take away from the effect of pearlescence or metallics, but not neons. Not neons. Uh, we still connected? Yeah, we're still good. So a little, uh, little freezing here on, uh, the page. Let's see here. Uh, Marl Dane with the super chat. What are your force and pass settings on four mil? You would want to, um, you would need a good blade, a newer blade, and then, uh, maximum thickness and maximum, uh, maximum thickness, which would be th if you're using a silhouette 33 and then, um, you, you need the blade turned up to 10, the lower the speed, the better. So speed at one force at 33 and then blade at 10. And then you might need to do a couple passes, so you need a, a real sticky mat. Um, mylar is not fun to cut on uh, on uh, vinyl cutters. Really meant to be done with uh, laser cutters for sure. Uh, J Squared Custom says, any advice on what settings to use on Cameo for cutting mylar? I have 10 mil mylar, so 10 mil is not going to cut. 10 mil is, is super thick stuff. Super thick, super thick. That needs a that needs a laser cutter for sure. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Ba ba ba. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, let's do, uh, we're going to start with, uh, we're going to go to, um, my man CW Custom says Brotistic is a good one. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, check that out. Brotistic. Okay, flip over here. Brotistic. Uh, Kaylin Bro, I think that, Bro? I wonder, is that how you say your last name, bud? Uh, hopefully I said that right. Tuscan. Uh, I think, <laughs> I, I think I said Tux. How do you say, how, is it Tuxen? 
Tuke. The C is before the S, so it's... I actually don't know that, and I think Rupsy la laughed at me last time. I might have said this to somebody else. Is it Tuxin? I thought it was Tuxan. Is it Tuxan? Am I crazy? Hopefully Tucson, Arizona. Okay, custom sneaker artist. Shoes are not provided. Serious inquiries only. Uh, if it can be imagined, it can be designed. I like that little quote. That's cool. Uh, check out these uh, little, is that Gian? Who is that? Is that Giannis on these? Let's take a look at this vid here. Let's see. Tucson? Tucson? Tucson. Oh, those are crazy. Those foams are crazy. Okay. All right, let's see what else here. Death Note on some Nike SB slip-ons. Those are dope. Tucson. 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 Okay. Uh, oh, I like these. With the uh, with the Kooji print. That's clean. That's clean. Tucson. Tucson. Okay, there we go. Uh, I like these on the uh, the bloodlines here. I like this floral pair. Those are dope. Those are dope. Oh, these are cool. Dig those. Dig those. A lot of good stuff here. Nice, nice wide range of a lot of different styles. You know, I thought, I thought a lot of the uh, style might have been from the video. A lot of the, you know, colorful galaxy stuff here. The Space Jam, almost uh, Serato esque, sort of along these lines. It's just funny that you know, hey, anytime you see colorful galaxy, you know, Serato is going to be that first guy you think of. Oh, I love these. One of the best throwback jerseys of all time. Love those. Love those. Yeah, good stuff here. It's a cool page. A lot of good stuff. Nice wide range of content. Talented with an airbrush for sure. Good stuff. Yeah, look, look at the, these foams are crazy. The spawn spawn posits. That's dope. Big fan of those. Big fan of those. Yeah, a lot of good stuff here. Um. Gengar and, and Haunter, Jordan 10s. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. I'm a, I'm a fan. Uh, improvements that I would potentially say, I would probably say the usual, the uh, spend a little more time editing the photography. You know what I mean? Like this is just, uh, it's just a little like under it's just a little like look at how muted the and dull the green looks from the turf and whatnot and i just think that if you turn up that saturation add a little vignette here stuff like this just pops so much more so the main thing that i would just say here is you know what you guys always hear me say photo editing and things like that i think would really uh improve this but the bio's good name all that logo uh everything's good the the mix in terms of uh all the different forms of content we got some different videos here a lot of different types of shots some some close-up detail shots some on foot shots so a lot of cool stuff yep good stuff there good stuff there uh okay let's see who we're gonna do next um let's do we're going to do beckham customs b-e-c-k oh no it's b3 Beckham Customs, based in Chicago, 14 years old, sneaker and cleat artist, angels paint, DM for orders, nothing on the page is for sale. Cool, so the feed is uh, in the uh, the three post per project style. Can never go wrong with that one. Let's see here. So we take a look at some Joker Air Forces. This is a, a, a great uh, shooting location of just using concrete and brick. Really simple backgrounds. I know I sort of talked with you the other day about how these photos could even be improved a little bit more. But I love this, how there's, you know, kind of 
some main, you know, almost uh, money shot photos, and then, you know, some of the detail stuff here. Dig that. Um, I see you're doing that a little bit more a lot of the time where you kind of have some detail shots, some close-ups, and then more of your main money shots. I dig that testing out. This hardwood is nice. I love how, how rugged it looks. You could get a lot of cool shots there. For sure. Yep. Just shoot in the shade. Like when you're, this is, it's hard to shoot in, in direct sunlight. Really hard to shoot in direct sunlight. But these are cool too, using the boosted stripes on the, uh, on the stripes on these NMDs. Really clean and simple. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. 14 years old. Crazy. Crazy. So to even be caring about photography and all that stuff, just awesome. And a big improvement from where you've come. This was January. Yeah, look at this. Only, what, five, six months ago? Uh, big improvement. Big improvement. Keep it up, buddy. Keep it up. Let's see what's on the story. Yep, some shots of the shoes. Good stuff. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Go check them out on YouTube, guys. Very cool stuff. Keep it up, man. Keep it up. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Super Chat from Mal Dane says, uh, Starstation.etsy is a good one. She has dedicated herself to only space theme, but does it incredibly well. Let's see. So that was Star Station. Stars uh, Station. Let's see here. Okay, so mostly just painting galaxies and giving you space. Next Star Station update, August 1st. Uh, PNW shop here. Uh, okay. Let's see. PNW, I think that means the Pacific Northwest. So she's out in Portland or Oregon or Seattle or something like that. Look at this. It's clean. That's good stuff. That almost looks, yeah, I mean, that looks factory released. You know what I mean? Like, I would believe that those weren't even painted. Yeah, check these out. Wow. Love that. And I actually like it up against the um, the deck right here or, or whatever it might be. I, I'm just thinking of like a pool deck or, or a picnic bench or something like that for, for this wood. That looks good. That additional texture, I dig that. Yeah, look at these. I mean, these look, they don't look painted. That's how good they are. That's awesome. I love having the on foot shots versus just the money shots. Got the good detail shot, close ups. Look at this. Look at the, just that back tab on the Converse. All those colors packed in there. That is badass. I've never seen her before, Marlden. She does uh, tremendous work. Oh, look at this. Damn. That is awesome. That is awesome. Okay, here, now these are up against, it almost looks like some old rundown train tracks. I think that Hmm. Shooting in direct sunlight is always really hard. The colors pop, but also since everything else is, is so dull and muted in the background from the wood, it, it's obviously really old in the, the gray, the concrete. You could say that the colors then pop, but I also just want to see these up against more color. You know, this blue, I almost want to see it up against, uh, you know, more of an orange or maroon color type background or something. Like imagine this shot here. And if you just had this, these reds and pinks as the background color, even if it was just like poster board, how much that would pop. But that's just me. That's just my style, what I go for, you know? Look at this. This is awesome. Man, she is incredibly talented with the, uh, the galaxy work. I love it. I love it. But the photos are, are they're, they're very simple. You know what I mean? They're all just done outdoors nearby. Concrete, grass, simple textures. I love these, man. I would wear these. You know what I mean? I would totally wear a pair of these skate highs. She even paints the laces. Leather laces painted with Angelus. Yeah. Damn. That's cool. I haven't seen the, the Galaxy laces appear on any shoes, I don't think. But that's cool stuff, man. This is a great page. Look at that. That's cool. Mm-hmm. Really killing it with uh with the galaxy theme. Wow, it just goes on and on. See it not this photo, 
but I actually like how the how the colors play up against the the more orange of this wood here. The blues and whatnot really stand out. But yeah, wow, look at this. Even on the Jordan 1s, all that, look at that. That interplay behind the swish there, awesome. Love these. This is a great page. Really cool. Let's see what she's got on the star. Uh, somebody wearing the shoes. Always good. Always good to have uh, some customer photos. For sure. Okay, guys, we got about uh, 10 more minutes. We got about 10 more minutes. We had another uh, super chat come on in. Let's see here. From Lisman. Would like to uh, revive my work in the middle of the process. I sent you a video on Insta from MB Luxury Art. You maybe saw me from doing mistakes. I don't even know I do. By the way, you rock. Okay, so let's uh, check that out. Did you send a DM to this Instagram? No, it's to the other one. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Who did it come from? Lisman. It's from MB Luxury Art. Is it here? I don't see it, Lizvan. I do not see it. Um, uh, sent you a video on Insta from MB Luxury Art. I do not see it. Unless it was, oh, it's from MB Luxury Nails. This one, I think. Okay, let's see. All right. Let's take a look here and see if I can figure out what it is. Okay, yeah, so I would say that that looks like probably uh, uh, the paint looks a little thick, so I would probably guess potentially a little bit too much duller. Um, even if you're hand painting, you could still uh, um, strain your paint also. Just run it through a mesh strainer. I can't hear any audio right now. But, um, let's see, another video here. These are looking awesome, though. Can't wait to see those completed. Yeah, I would say that the paint just, uh, it, it probably got, um, uh, I don't know if you left the caps open a little bit too long. Um, but, oh, there's still more. But uh, sometimes, you know, some, some paint clogs, um, dust particles, and just the paint can thicken up, and then you get little clots in the paint and whatnot. So you could strain your paint before you use it, and then there is potentially that chance of a little bit too much duller. Um, so yeah, but well, yeah, those are cool. I can't wait to see those done. Those are looking good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, RTL Jack says, hi, small question. I need inspiration for a small doodle style drawing for my Vans high top white. Any ideas? Take a look at some of the uh, phenomenal doodle drawers on uh, YouTube. Vex, Gox Art. There is some, uh, some super talented um, um, doodle style artist on uh, YouTube and Instagram who you can absolutely draw some inspiration from. Uh, let's see here. Ba, ba, ba. Ba, ba, ba. Uh, Honey Customs MX from Mexico, almost 60K. Let's uh, take a look here. Let's head to the other Instagram. Uh, what was that? Honey Customs MX. Okay. Um, I won't. I won't try to uh, speak Spanish because you guys will laugh at me. Sneakers personalizados and envios nacionales gratis. Uh, Mexico, and then I can never say. Uh, I know there's a soccer team in Cuarétaro. I think that's where uh, Ronaldinho finished his career. I think he finished his career in the uh, Mexican league, and I think he played for. Cuarétaro. I'm probably saying that pretty, pretty, uh, pretty poorly. Uh, my Spanish is uh, certainly not top notch, but let's uh, take a look at the page here. Okay. 
Harry Potter Air Forces. Tons of Air Forces here. My goodness. So right away, one thing that I really like is just the consistency of just looking at this feed. You, you really, almost all of the main money shots are in this very simple pose here of overhead shot, both the shoes lying on their sides and uh, clean and simple. Nice wood texture background. Lots of um, clients wearing their shoes. That's always great. Love seeing those. These are cool. Dig these, these psychedelic Air Force ones. Those might be my favorite ones. Oh, these are cool too. The Monopoly with the LV drip and stuff. Dig those. Starry Nights. Those are sweet. Dig those. Simplistic, but still dope. Good stuff. Um, maybe some videos? Oh, check these out. One Piece. Yeah, dig those. Dig those. Maybe some videos. Maybe some videos or some animation, some time lapse that you work in or something. The one thing that I could say is, yeah, so is this, what's, uh, what's your name on here? Uh, what's your name on here? Let me see. Uh, Arturo, is this, is this you, Arturo? I was going to say maybe more of you. Let's see, but I think that's you. This is you wearing the glasses, right, buddy? Um, Honey Customs uh, just celebrating six months and we have 4,000 uh, followers. So six months and 4,000 followers. That is, uh, that's incredible. That's really good, buddy. Keep it up. Or subscribers. Did that say subscribers? No, followers. And that was, uh, that was back in December. Now you're at 60K? Did it grow that quickly? Did you go from 4K in December to 60K now? That's insane if you did. But yeah, cool stuff. Uh, consistency. Uh, uh, I love that here. Um, just maybe a little photo editing. Make the colors pop a little bit more. A little vignette. A little more texture. Clarity. Uh, but yeah, great page. Keep it up, buddy. Really good stuff. Really good stuff there. Uh, super chat from Soul of uh, Filth. Uh, thanks for all the advice you've given. Would love some feedback on my Instagram. Soul of Filth. Let's see here. Soul, whoops, of Filth. Soul of Filth. Colorado, DM for customs, loading. Uh, let's see. Oh, I remember seeing... Uh, I remember seeing this this video on TikTok, the time lapse of making these Joker uh, vans. Those are cool. I like the I like the going out of your way to do the mask and whatnot, the mask photo. That's cool. Yep, I I dig it. I, I like this uh, this playing up of the mask stuff, having it in the background and whatnot. That's cool. These are clean and simple Air Forces. Dig those. I dig the uh, the vape vans. Those look good. Shark teeth look phenomenal. The babe camel looks great. That's a great looking pair. Prepping his key. Look at that. That nice grayed out leather. You love to see it. You love to see that, folks. Sometimes we got to make things ugly before we can make them pretty. You know what I'm saying? Dig those. Yeah, with the, with the, the checkerboard, the mids. Clean. Clean. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, just keep going. Just keep going. 18 post. Keep going keep doing more 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 but i, I think you're on to something with doing uh, you're testing out a lot of different styles of content videos you know playing around on tiktok uh you know that's that's one of the quickest platforms that you can grow on so absolutely keep it up good stuff good stuff uh super chat from sonia says uh what are you looking at on the front hand size uh, I'm not sure what you mean, Sonia. What am I looking at on the front hand? Like when I'm looking that way right now, if you're asking what I'm looking at there, I'm looking at my computer because, and if you're asking what I'm looking at right here, this is uh, the iPad where I have the chat pulled up. 
And when I look that way, I look sideways. I look to make sure that the stream is still connected and everything's going good. But when I'm looking here at the iPad, I'm looking at, I have the uh, chat pulled up. And then if you're talking about when I'm looking here, I'm looking at the camera. Uh, so hopefully, um, hopefully that is uh, what you mean. So let's see. Okay, guys, uh, like I said, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to end it a little earlier today. So we will do one more Instagram. Uh, Ron Custom says, Deej, you need to do a 31-day Spanish-speaking class. <laughs> oh, man, that's good. That's so true. That's so true. I, uh, I just, I, I just, I, I don't like speaking it because I just feel I'm going to trip up on words. Like, I think I can sort of read it and, and sort of conversate a little bit, minorly. But uh, I just feel like certain words, like, oh, there's no way I'm going to be able to say that. And I'm just going to sound like a fool. So I'm scared to do it. But yeah, you got to gotta practice. That's for sure. So, okay, Sonia, that is what you mean. Cool. Cool. Arturo, with, with a very uh, generous super chat. Thank you, buddy. Um, uh, um, so let me know. I, I'm not sure if you said, but did your page grow to 60K in just under uh, six months? Because that is uh, absolutely insane if it did. If you were celebrating 4K in December and now it's 60. That is, uh, that's phenomenal. That is uh, phenomenal. Uh, okay, here. Uh, okay, last one of the day here. Um, we are going to... Uh, ba, 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 uh, Mal oh, let me let me answer this. Maldane says, "Do you have any insight on the voting of the class? I have to plan my time off soon." So originally, let me pull up the dates to make sure. I sort of mentioned this in the Facebook group for the DCF experience. I was kind of considering the eighth or ninth of August, or the fifteenth or sixteenth. Those would be back to back weekends. One of those, um, which is you know like six weeks from now, six to seven weeks from now. Um, you know, depending on how everything goes, but. I heard LA is just shutting back down for three weeks. They're they're going back on. I I think uh, I don't know what's closing specifically, but I know some stuff is getting shut down in LA. Unfortunately, we're not hearing great things about the numbers in terms of everything going on with the pandemic. So it's really hard to say. And uh, I w I would have loved for better news um, starting out, but um, we'll see. I definitely do need need to make a decision very soon because i know that there's no way i would set an official date without at least a minimum of like four weeks um notice you know what i mean so we're already at the third so we're already getting really close to needing to say if it would be that that weekend of the eighth or ninth i don't think it would be then i think it's uh i'm gonna say it won't be that weekend if if it was going to be in august it would be maybe that 15th through 16th or maybe we need to push it to the end of august the 29th and 30th i wish we had uh I wish we had better news um, right now, truthfully, from uh, everything going on. So yeah, uh, but but we should uh, we should have that soon. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Uh, okay, one more, one more page here. Uh, Matt Santiago kicks our us customs. I just hit 2k. This is going to be our final one of the day, guys. Final one of the day, and then I hope everybody has a great, safe Fourth um, of July weekend. I actually didn't know this, but uh, Canada Day. I didn't know when they celebrated theirs until this year. I found out that it is uh, July 1st, so uh, for we actually do have, uh, according to the analytics, quite a few people from uh, Canada who uh, support us here, so happy belated uh, Canada Day to anybody uh, up north. Okay, kicks are us dot customs. Okay, so just, just something to consider anytime I'm searching up names like this is kicks are us dot customs with the two Zs. It can be... It, it just made me think, okay, it's a, it requires a little bit of brain power to, to find the name. So just something to consider, you know what I mean, uh, of simple little misspellings. Let me tell you one reason specifically why this stuff matters so much. When I, uh, 
when we created our website, our website is www.dejesusinc.com. And when I have to create, when I created an email for the site, it was of course going to be blank at dejesusinc.com. I chose not to have Dylan at dejesusinc.com because it's so easy to misspell Dylan that my email to reach me is just contact at dejesusinc.com because you don't want that chance of anybody trying to find you and potentially misspelling and then uh, losing out on stuff. So there's just always, oh, just at least a consideration. Simple logo, let's see what's on the story here. Uh, okay, okay, cool stuff. Got a cricket, nice. Um, uh, connected to the Bluetooth on the Cricut, but it still says I have to connect it and it's not working. Can anyone help me? Sometimes the best thing you can do with technology is just restart it, although I don't use a Cricut. But uh, sometimes that happens. So, okay, let's take a look at some of the work. Get a feel for the page. Yep, oh yeah. Look at those. Got the uh, bandana Air Forces with the video. Hell yeah, to the video. They look great. They look great. I would say compared to uh, Justin's that we featured on Reviewing Our Customs, yours have even like some some lighter highlights. Like they they, they really pop. I mean, yours are are really good. That's that's top notch, top notch. Yeah, look at that. Great stuff. Great stuff. Um, yeah, those are super good. Super good. Um. It's just, just a huge wide range of work here. A lot of different Air Forces, a lot of different stuff. Those are awesome. Those are badass. Look at the look at the drop shadow underneath the snake. I mean, you really think that snake is interweaving in and out of that uh, swoosh. Great stuff here, man. I love all the different shots. Like this is a great money shot with the you know holding the one shoe up. Uh, kind of at the hip level and the other shoe bokeh out. Great wide range of content. You know what I mean? You're doing video. You're doing uh, photos. Some simple photos. Can't go wrong. Which is the white stucco background. You know what I mean? The Burberry uh, Air Forces. Good stuff. Good stuff. Bio. Simple short. Location. Partners. The custom movement. Custom kick. Get your pair here. Link to their site. These are dope. The uh, Space Jam Kyrie's. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I mean, like, the photography is solid. I'd say edit the photos. I don't think they're edited. They look uh, pretty natural. But, yeah, I mean, you, you're doing a lot of different stuff. So that is uh, certainly a way to uh, – you're going to grow. You are definitely going to grow. That is for sure. Like, I would say this this photo would look so much better if, if, you, if you found, like, some nice, really great green grass or green shrubbery, shrubbery or something like that where you can, you know, put the Air Forces inside some bushes and whatnot. The greens will really make the red of the snake pop. Whereas here, you're probably shooting at nighttime, and uh, this is February, so the grass is dead. And so, uh, you know, the grass isn't that bright green. The colors aren't popping. And the work is so good that this is just, uh, this pair would look so much more luxurious taken with a better photo because the artwork is phenomenal. So photography, photography, photography. I went out shooting for about two hours earlier today for a pair of shoes, and uh, I think I need to go back out because I'm, I, I came home, edited the photos, and I just don't love them because it was so bright out earlier today that even when I found the shade, uh, I just, I still didn't love it. I love shooting on a nice cloudy day. That's the best time to shoot. So yeah, great stuff. Um, but yeah, that is uh, that's a great page. Everybody, go ahead and check out and follow all of these uh, dope artists that we featured on uh, today's episode. You guys are going absolutely insane, 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 insane. The growth that uh, that I'm able to see as we uh, look through these Instagrams uh, together. I know that you guys are. Uh, are taking note and uh doing good stuff good stuff so uh thank you guys so much for tuning in that is going to be a wrap for this week's episode of dcf live next week uh hopefully we have a youtube collab video if everything goes well we will see otherwise of course we'll have another uh video on a, a tutorial uh that one might be pushed back week depending if we're able to get this collab video out next week but uh thank you guys for watching this week's video on the airbrush booth 
uh, just a great, great feedback on that video. Um, like I said, at the start of the stream, I had to do that one all myself. So hopefully I didn't, uh, mess anything up too bad and it, it turned out looking and sounding okay, but, uh, appreciate your guys support and, uh, have a great safe weekend. Everybody stay safe, wear a mask if you're going outside as they say. Uh, and then we can, uh, hopefully one day get back to something that, uh, resembles normal around here. But uh, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys next week. Peace.